Hello again. Uh, I've been a while since like a product thing. I've been busy with all manner of uh, this thing over here is screwed up and that thing over there is screwed up and I've been working on some art. Yeah, like, uh, I think we're 23 hours into this one piece. I use strictly ink pen because my personal philosophy is if you make a mark, you should have to work with it. Um, you know, which is why I don't like abandoning things, you know. And uh, I like doing product reviews, so um, it's nice to be able to get away from all the things that are bothering me. Like, I have a lot of personal life stuff going on, but I need to make time for the things that I actually want to pursue, which is important. And I think everyone should do that, you know. Um, which is why, you know, it's I value freedom and honesty a lot, which is a, a great part of the reason why I'll put everything to the side to do these videos because these videos are important to me. Even though I don't really have a following, it's it's fine. I'm not doing it because popularity. It's although if I had uh, a bigger following, what I'm doing would would matter a bit more to you know. It would matter a bit more to me because then I actually have people who are able to um, you know share my stuff around, and I'm not really going to pressure anyone into that sort of thing. Um, because, you know, if you value what I'm, what I'm doing here, okay, then go ahead and share it. That's great. Um, but that aside, um, I wanted to, because I've been thinking about this topic for a little while, not really this topic, I've been wanting to, uh, show these items for a little while. And, you know, I've been doing, like, individual things here and there. Sometimes I would showcase two items, sometimes I would showcase three items. Most of the time it's just an item at a time. But um, I want to do like um, like a, I want to show this spotlight on stuff like this. The uh, it's got like a variety of things in it, and uh, you know, it, my experience. I have a few things that I like to suggest, and then um, there's also, excuse me, there's also things that I would like to um, try to get people to not spend money on because it's just not good. So I got two two suggestions, and uh, you know, in the positive way, and one uh, heads up, like disclaim, not disclaimer. Is that the right word? Either way. Um, so now, because uh, I I was working in a warehouse, these were great. Um, this chocolate chip, peanut butter chocolate chip, and dark chocolate chunk. So. I want to suggest this first um, of the of the two because you know these I think these are great. Um, I like this a little more than the next thing I'm going to show off, but only because um, this is a bit easier to eat and these these typically have more and the the actual item itself is smaller. They're like they're like that thick and then they're like like that long. I believe I don't actually have any more because uh, you know I have teeth and a stomach. Um, but, uh, these are good, um, for a few reasons. So you, you can obviously, uh, store these away, um, you know, keep them for, for later use and having like, like two, four of these on hand when you're like at work or something is really handy. Um, you know, they, they last you a good while. And, uh, so, uh, I don't have, I wish I had some of these to show. Usually I, I do have, uh, you know, some of the items to show. Um, I can only really show this. Uh, there's like, uh, I have a wrapper in here that's empty. Uh, or I'd show you what's in the box. There's, um, but uh, yeah, the, these are good. Um, they're very like, uh, malleable. They break very easily. Um, they, <laughs> they fall apart pretty easily. Um, based on the temperature, uh, of, you know, the area you're at, you know? So like, because it was like, I was in the warehouse since like summer and stuff. These came apart pretty easily, but, um, what is it, uh, I want to say granola, but I don't think that's quite correct. Yeah, granola, okay, yeah, right there. Um, but the granola is held together with what seems to be like a honey. Um, that's, that's what it seems to be to me, I'm not completely sure. Um,
I can't quite tell. It doesn't directly say, but um, of, of the ones here, I really like the peanut butter. Because, you know, the, the other ones like, there's chocolate, and then there's chocolate and chocolate, and the chocolate, you know. And then there's, there's the chocolate and the peanut butter. Cool, okay, it's different. Um, so that, that's pretty great. Um, but, uh, you know, these fold over pretty well. Um, they're just really easy to eat. And even if, like, you have kids, um, you know, they're, they're good to include, like, lunches. Like, two of them are pretty good to include lunches. So, like, you make, like, a sandwich. And then, like, uh, include, like, an apple. And then two of these bars. Um, and, like, in place of, like, potato chips if you wanted or something. And then, like, you know, like, a, a fruit a, a fruit juice pouch. Like, a Capri Sun or something. And that's that makes for a phenomenal lunch. Uh, I like to bring up lunches in this, in this case. Aside from, like, snacking. Because... Um, lunches, uh, something like this in a lunch, it typically brings, uh, like, the quality of the lunch around to completion, and it's important that if you're putting together lunches for kids, that, um, you have something that after you've eaten it, it was, uh, the entire thing will, will give you enough of a, a boost in your mood where you're gonna feel good, right? And it's, it's good for children who are in school to, to feel good about what they ate because not only do they have to focus, um, having their mood at, at a good level is, is also important because then, you know, that helps focus. And that if, if for instance, uh, the kid, you know, your kid doesn't exactly, um, the environment they're in at school isn't very good, the lunch they'll have is something they'll remember. So, you, you know, it's like bonus points. It's not just that it's like a sugar thing, whatever, but it's that... It's, it's complimentary to a lunch for children, and I think it's really nice. Um, so, uh, I want to say this was like $10. $10 was like 36 bucks. I could be wrong. Um, but I got this at Walmart. I, I do. I, I was doing pr the majority of, of my shopping at Walmart for food. Uh, because, you know, it's like, again, it's a friendly, frugal fiend over here. Um, you know, I'd like to be able to, um, suggest to people stuff that I get at Walmart because Walmart, you know, you have, you have 200 Walmarts in each and every state across the <laughs> Walmart is just everywhere. Um, so to be able to make suggestions, uh, to, for certain items that you can get at Walmart, uh, helps, uh, helps me and it helps the channel and the people who are watching, which, uh, thank you for watching by the way, of course, uh, but uh, yeah, overall, Walmart is is a good place for me to source a lot of a lot of goods because in a lot of families in America, um, they do go to Walmart for their goods. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this is this is a great item. Uh, assorted bars, thirty six the thirty six box the thirty six count box is is a good purchase. So I highly suggest that. Uh, if I can remember the price, it'd be a lot easier for me to give like some kind of rating. I'm just gonna say that I suggest it, cause I and if you are a follower of my Facebook page, you'll know that I do a site for suggests uh, portion. And honestly, it's like this is the kind of thing that because it's not like an individual item, and there's a, a bunch of good stuff going on, and um, you know I can't really uh, suggest a, a score like a number score out of five. Though if I had to, if I had to say, I would say a four out of five. I would give, I would give the, the what is it called, chewy variety pack, thirty six count bar box a four out of five. Um, each individual aspect of it, I would say it's about a four out of five. If not, it's like three point five to four point fives. Um, it's because there's a lot that uh, is generally good about the about the box that there's not really any downsides. Uh, it would have a higher score, but there's sugar, quite a lot of sugar. I, I think, I, th I want to say a lot of sugar. Um, it's a lot of sugar. Uh, they fall apart pretty easily based on the, the temperature. Um, the price, you know, no one wants to spend like, like $10, 10 15 however much it was, um, on like a single item, right? but it's many items. So there's just like a few small gripes that I have with it. That and you also have to put up with going to Walmart again. <sighs> anyway, so this is, I give it a four out of five. If I had to give it a number score. Next thing I wanna, it's another sugar thing because of course, 
But, um, you know, and I do like uh, sugar items because I was, at least at the time, I was working in the warehouse. And sugars are typically good if you want to maintain energy. Um, that and because I do want to make sure that if I can, I'd like to suggest these items to people with kids. Um, and especially with my comment about bringing lunches around, like completing that, that experience. Um, you know, sugar, some sugar things here and there suggested with the kids in mind isn't such a bad idea. Um, this next thing, it's this is sort of more of the same. I'm sort of going to be having the, I'll have like the same comments to a degree. Um, this. This. Um, again, this is this is just something that I can suggest the same way I would suggest the, the Chewy Bars in every single way. Um, that is good for work and lunges, blah, blah, So, um, this, uh, this item is obviously a little different, but it, it, it is like the three, three item variation thing. Oh, uh, you know, with multiples in, uh, this is 30, this is a 30 pack. It says Oreo and golden Oreo, which is like lemon vanilla. I'm not really sure. Um, in place of like chocolate and then, uh, Chips Ahoy. Uh, so these come in all, all three of the, the uh, items that you can get in that bundle box thing. Uh, two cookies. Uh, and they, I haven't because I've, I've bought, I think this is the third time I've bought this now. If not the second time, if not the third time, it's the second time that I've, I've made this purchase. I can't quite remember, but um, these... When, when you open them, the, the cookies are fresh, crisp. Like, they're not, they don't taste old. I haven't had, like, a bad batch. <laughs> um, but, uh, these are pretty good. As you can see, they're, they're a pretty good size. Um, for, it's a quarter for size comparison. It's a normal size of a cookie. Uh, and it's, a uh, you know, it's pretty good. Um... I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the uh, golden Oreo, like, it, like it's, just, it's a treasure or something, right? I'm not really a fan of those just because, like, I don't know, um, it's nice to have something different to go with the chocolate and then chocolate, but then when the, when the difference is, like, it's such a contrast, it's just one of those things where it just feels kind of odd. I feel like I'm, I'm eating, uh... You know, like, I'll go and eat, like, my pull-apart cheese string thing, and then suddenly I go to eat another one, and I'm holding, like, a, a, a like a, a piece of chalk for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know, the, the contrast, the difference the, uh, of the variety is kind of, it's a lot. It's, like, not, like, a subtle difference. Like, um, you know, again, chocolate, chocolate, and then suddenly, like, this lemon, uh whatever it is. I'm not even really sure what it is, what the golden Oreo is, but it's just, it's just such a difference, um, such a contrast. It's just, I'm just not like a fan. I'll, I'll eat them. I eat all of them. They're not bad, the, the golden Oreo. Um, but it's just like, it just feels uh, kind of annoying, I guess, that contrast. So I don't know. Obviously everyone's, their feelings are going to you know, differ. I'm not really going to impact the score too much of this. But I will say that that's a, a high suggestion for me. I would suggest Chewy Bars over the the double Oreo the thing, the 30 pack here. I would say I would give the product a 3.5. Um, it's some of the same gripes, but then like the only reason why there's a 0.5 difference is because again, like it's just, the contrast is weird. But that's that's the thing is, uh, if, if I were to, which I will, if I were to suggest this to kids, uh, at least parents with kids, um, the, uh, the, the, the idea of you having variety is good because all your kids will be different. Um, and some of them might like the Golden Oreo a bit more. Maybe you like the Golden Oreo a bit more. Um, it's just not something I really uh, care for. But I, I will say that that's, that's a bundle um, that I uh, suggest uh, pretty highly. So there's that. So now um, the last of the items, which this is something I'm going to suggest that no one buy. No one. It's a coffee thing. I'm happy to come back to coffee. Oh, yay, coffee review thing. Woo! 
This is not. I got this at Walmart. This brand. What is it? Victor Allen's Coffee. Um, so, first of all, okay, because this is being advertised as coffee, you go, oh, cool, there's donut shot blend, there's a 100% Colombian, there's a French roast and French vanilla. Okay, and then there's milk chocolate. That's kind of that's kind of interesting, okay. Um, the milk chocolate I actually had was good, except when I see it, this is a 100-count box, and you, you tell me this is coffee? Classic favorites? I look over here and I see cappuccino. Is that even really coffee? And hot chocolate? Like, look, dude, I'm trying to buy coffee. Okay. What does it look like? Not that, not that, that matters, but... Um, 20 of the 100 here are not coffee pods. They're not, they're not coffee pods. This is the Keurig I hate. I hate Keurig as a concept. Well, as a concept, I, I hate the the whole everything about it. The concept is cool, but everything else I'm just not like a fan of. Because also, just one thing about Keurig, these, yeah, these are all recyclable, these things, but do you know how many people just throw shit like this out? Don't even try to recycle this shit? I don't try to recycle this shit, but it's just so much excess waste just for one person's one cup of coffee. And the worst part is, these specifically are not ideal for purchase. Because these are like, they're, it's like low quality coffee. It's, I've tried drinking these and every time it's just, it's not a good experience. There's, there's like some really low grade, some really low grade coffee grounds going on here. I don't know what's going on. This is not ideal for anyone to purchase. This wasn't like a cheap box. In my opinion, like this kind of shit, this box wasn't cheap. Some people will argue, but you know, everyone's financial standing is different. I will not suggest this to anyone. This is something that I would rather uh, see removed from the shelves and that this company uh, either stops producing this trash or they go out of business. I've given you way too much camera time, bro. But, um, so here's another thing, right? Um, now I have, uh, one of my, one of the, the only other person in, in, that lives in this, in this house with me, uh, she likes coffee. The problem is, uh, the, it was like the hot, I don't know what it was, it was like, I think it was the cappuccino thing, the French vanilla cappuccino, the one that's not really coffee, um, so she, because she has a sensitivity to um, artificial sweetener, there's like some some amount of like artificial sweetener or something in like the the pot, which I expect it with like the hot chocolate. Okay, like, uh, but then again, I don't because I don't expect hot chocolate to have artificial sweetener in it. I don't know. Something about it just seems that just seems weird. But she told me that after uh, I had use one of those uh, pods in the in the Keurig, one of the K-cups, I don't know why I'm calling pods, one of the K-cups in the Keurig, um, some of the artificial sweetener was being left behind. In the, and mind you, this is a new Keurig machine because the old one kind of went fucking whatever and we couldn't really use it anymore. And so I spent the money to get a new one because there are two coffee drinkers that have jobs um, and need you know, a coffee pot or a Keurig or something going on. Needed active. So I bought one. And so this is a new machine. It's not like, well, it's newer. At this point, it's just newer. It's not new, but it's the one of the newest additions to the house being used currently. Anyway, um, so it was leaving artificial sweetener behind in the Keurig. Like it was, it was like giving her problems. And that's not good. Okay, and I don't know if that's just what what Keurigs do, but it's just a little advisory for all y'all out there. Um, it's not ideal. It's not it's not something that I was just. But either way, um, these are awful. the The quality is so fucking low. 
to me, at least, I don't know. And I don't have high standards, okay? I understand that. I don't have high standards. I just like a quality product. That doesn't taste like quality to me. And it's, it's frankly bothersome because, I, you know, you spend money on something and you, you, you hope for the best. And then what happens? These 30, 30 cent or however many, however much it costs per, per Keurig, per, per K-cup. Um, however much it costs, it's just, it's just a tremendous waste. Again, like I, I spent like, I spent between like 30, I can't remember, it was like between 30 and $60 on the box. Excuse me, on this box here. And the only reason that I bought this is because I thought that, first of all, it was going to be okay. Second, I liked the style. Um, I'm a sucker for aesthetics to a degree. Um, and third, it's because um, we've been, and this is what I will suggest to you in place of this um, vagina anus coffee. I know that's not the name, but I'm calling it. In place of vagina anus coffee, <laughs> there's, um, there's a service online. I don't know what the service section should call, but there's a there's this coffee company called Mods. M A M A U D, yeah, M A U D apostrophe S. Yes. Um, Mods is is pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, and it's just the assortment is nice. They have all they have all sorts of flavors. This comes with fucking some generic ass shit, and it's just like. Uh, no, stop it. So, um, vagina anus coffee. <laughs> That's so, <laughs> That's so funny to me. Um, this is not good at all. Like to me personally, because uh, again, I don't, I don't have very high standards, but I, you know, I, I have to pretend they kind of do for the sake of advising people to uh, buy or you know buy something or stay away from it. You know. And again, I want them want money to go in the right the right direction. I want the people to be spending their money on on things that they'll actually enjoy. And I res I keep from having a bias as best I can. As much as I love Death Wish Coffee, um, you know I re reviewed that shit. As much as I love uh, Cliff's White Macadamia, uh, Cliff Bars, I as kind of a joke. I had given it, before I even had my page together, I had given it like a 6 out of 5 because I thought it was so good. Um, and then I re-reviewed it. Um, and then YouTube's, uh, f sorry, Facebook's uh, website was glitchy for like a month. And I would upload a video and, you know, I would write some shit with the video. And the actual video file would just disappear completely from the post. I would have all the other everything there except the video was just missing suddenly just like there was a uh, the way i put it was a digital sinkhole so um you know i'll re i'll re-review things if i reviewed them in the past and uh, i'll give it like a, a fair shake uh, you know and even with like a monster zero um they had it's like a line of like sour fruit drinks um, even though I love the, it's a, like, the, cause it, the cans are sort of, like, color-coded based on what the flavor is going to be, which is good. It, it communicates very clearly what you're buying, kind of. Um, but the, uh, the green can, which was, a uh, sour apple cantaloupe, I thought that was good, you know? And personally, I would give it, like, a 4, 4.5 out of 5. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5, but... I don't tell people that that's the score I give it for the, the general public. I tell people that based on if you have a preference of flavor, if you like uh, the, the blue sort of fruit flavor stuff for drinks, then you would give the blue one like a 4.5 out of 5. You would give the, the, green, the green one, the purple one. Uh, you, whatever you, the orange one even, if you like citrus orange, you know, you would give the orange one a 4.5 out of the 5, but the, the zero line just about across the board is all the same. Uh, so it's like I would give the majority of them 3.5 out of 5 because they are exceptional drinks. Um, 
It's just you're not going to like them all the same, and that's why I have to give them all practically the same score. Um, so you know, again, like I reserve bias. Like I, I for I'll tell you what I personally think, and then give you uh, a score that I I believe most people would agree on. Because you have to be honest in a, in a business like this. I'm calling it a business because it's it's consumer advocacy. It's very important. Okay. In a business like this, in an industry like this, you cannot have a bias at all. You know, you may, you know, uh, have problems with a company like Chick-fil-A or whatever because you think they're bigots. But if the food is good, you cannot tell people the food is bad. It's just that simple. It doesn't matter what you think of the company, you you reserve that judgment for a different part of your review, a different part of your suggestion. You know, um, and that's just what that's just how it is. If you are going to be any, if if you're gonna even remotely matter to an industry like this, you need to be honest and you need to reserve bias. Okay, you you say this is what I think personally. After you say, this is what I think uh, most people would say. Because if you're into the consumer advocacy thing, you're not, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it as a sort of community service. right? It would be nice to get paid, but you understand up front that um, your opinion shouldn't warrant, uh, you know, uh, pay, right? Because here's the thing. This is why you you give the the review, the honest review of the product. Bias aside, you give that before you give your personal opinion, and the reason you give your personal opinion last is because people who like you don't need to be ill informed up front because you put your opinion before you put the facts. Okay, the facts first. That's what this is all about. Okay, that's why there's the Haribo watermelon gummies. I had a huge problem with it, and it's, it was just in the ingredients. The ingredients, I, I, it was because of what I read on the back of it that I gave it a zero. For people who care about, on, you know, the ingredients, telling you up front and honestly. What is in that product? They said it was like a, so. This is something, and then uh, in parentheses next to the the scientific term, uh, they they wrote from wheat or corn. They didn't tell you if it was from wheat or if it was from corn. They said from wheat or corn. There's a, there's a difference, okay. And so that's the thing is, it doesn't matter if the distinction doesn't matter. What matters is most people don't understand that the distinction might not matter. Okay, just because you are informed on what that means specifically to you know what it means. If the general public, if the public, the the average person in the public doesn't understand, that means that you have to completely look at that as uh, indecipherable, basically. You can't tell what the fucking deal is with this thing over here if it's not clear and concise what it is up front. Then it's it's not clear and concise at all. Because again, the average person has to understand what's going on. If you can research it, okay. If you can find the answer by doing research, okay. But if you then also in place of being clear and concise, also be confusing by not disclosing the specifics. If you purposely keep from disclosing the specifics, saying that it could be this or it could be this, you don't know what to think. And so you can't trust it. Now I gave, because of that, because of that one thing, you may think it's a little thing, it's not a little thing, okay? Not to people who care about that kind of thing. Uh, for their own health or their children's health or the health of the children that visit their house okay 
Um, it's not a little thing. And to think it a little thing is disrespectful. It is, absolutely. Because what you're saying is people that have legitimate concerns over health and safety don't matter. The, their concerns don't. So we should just throw away all parameters uh, regarding safety and what constitutes actual safety. Okay? You have to regard the environment. You have to regard the people in that environment. You have to regard the aspects of that environment if you're going to concern yourself with that environment. If you're going to consider it, you have to consider it. Okay? It's really not that fucking hard. But so I gave it because of that. I gave it a 0 out of 5. But I said, for the people that don't care about that kind of thing, I give it a 3 out of 5. I think it was a 3. I give it a 3. I give it a 3 out of 5. Um, so that, that's what I said. I, I made it my concern up front, and that wasn't even opinion-based. That wasn't a bias. That was concern. That, that's something specific that people care about. And again, I'm a consumer advocate. I, that I have to put priority... I have to prioritize those things. If I don't, I'm not fit for this at all. So, small things like that, I, I have to pay attention to. Okay? But, uh... So... Again, there's no bias here. I refuse to have a bias until after I tell you the facts and uh, what the, the public typically will think of that thing. Um, this is not a bias I have here with this. This is, again, every time I have, because I've had a few of these now, a good few, and I've had it with different creamers. I refuse to try it black because, first of all, I'm not a good critic of black coffee, okay? And secondly, um, if you can't, if, if I can't enjoy it, with creamer in it. If, I, if every single time I have tried this coffee and every time it's just come up short. And remember, at multiple tries, I've tried to give this uh, vagina anus of a Victor Allen's. Every time I've tried Victor Allen's coffee, it's been awful. Oh, bad. Um, it was just like, it was always just like falling short. Like I, like I was tasting the underneath of what, what coffee grinds. Whatever that means. <laughs> so, um, this, no, no, no. This is like garbage. And I only have it here still in case I need coffee and it doesn't matter the quality. If I just need it for the purpose of, like, if I'm working on, like, my art or something here, right? Which I'm gonna do a post thing about this when it's finished. Um, if I need it, then yeah, okay, I'll fucking, okay, fine. But, um, you know, I just, yeah, I don't, it's not good. Um, so, yeah, I just want to make those suggestions quick. Uh, you Because of the length of the video, you may have forgotten, but I, I said that this was, I highly suggest this. This has got 10 dark chocolate chunk bars, 12 peanut butter chocolate chip bars, and 14 chocolate chip bars. Uh, I highly suggest those. I would, like I said, if I had to give it a, a, a number rating, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Um, this, this has got the Oreo, and then the Golden Oreo, and then the Chips Ahoy cookies in them. And this, I would, I would suggest not quite as high as the Chewy, uh, but I would suggest this nonetheless. Um, and I said like a 3.5 out of 5, whatever, who cares. But then the Vagina Anus Coffee... Uh, I love saying that. I gave it a 0 0.69 out of 5, because 6.9 is a funny uh, pair of numbers for a coffee that instead of calling Victor Allen's coffee, I'm going to call Vagina Anus Coffee, because uh, it sucks queefs out the fart hole. Alright, I'm just going to say that. Right. So, uh, there's that. Um, I hope y'all are having a good day. Uh, Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope that uh, Vagina Anus um, goes at the business. Or they up their game, because this shit is... Ew. So, in the meantime, uh, have a good day, and uh, 
vagina anus coffee.